Hi, welcome back to another video. Today, I will be showing you how to make multiple choice questions and use them in Anki as fast as possible. This is important because I know that a lot of you guys are held back from using Anki because it actually takes time making the notes one by one. So using the method I show you today, it's pretty similar to the uh, other video I uploaded, the last video. Uh, I'm going to put in the description below, but this is specifically for MCQ questions. When I study or when I do anything in life, I like to be efficient. And I promise you that this is like one of the most high return on investment studying activities that you can do. Bulk import multiple choice questions on Anki. So let's get into it. First things first, why would anybody use multiple choice questions to study? When I got the idea about this video and I was doing a bit of a research, I stumbled upon this uh, concept that is used widely in marketing and sales. And I thought it would be so beneficial in explaining why I use multiple choice questions to study. I'm not an expert in marketing, but as you can see on your screen, this is the decision making funnel. From left to right, what happens is we've got broad options. Broad options, of course, referring to the possible answers. Then we have to identify the problem or comprehend the question, basically. And then the next step is really important. We've got generated alternatives, which is basically evaluate the answers that are kind of correct, but not really, and then selecting the best solution. Now, this is important when we've got exams that have negative marking as well. And on top of that, when you study using multiple choice questions, you subconsciously force yourself to go through the other possible answers and actually cross them out. So if you don't only revise the uh, question, the specific question, you revise the possible answers as well. So what's next? There is a link you can find in the description for the multiple choice question for Anki add-on. It's actually not pre-installed as a preset when you download Anki. So you have to do this step. So the link brings you here. You just scroll all the way down until you find the download. And as you can see, to download this add-on, please copy and paste the following code. You go to Anki. Then on the top left, you're going to find tools, add-ons. And then all you have to do is press get add-ons, copy and paste the code. Okay. And let it install. Then we come to chat GPT. And we paste the prompt. Again, you can find this from the description. Create MCQ questions and answers from the text. Instructions. Create a five-column table. Column one should be the question. Column two, three, four should be the possible answers. And column five should be an integer. Now pay attention to this. Uh, composed of zeros and ones. If the correct answer is column two, it should be 100. If it's three, it should be zero, one, zero. And if it's four, it should be zero, zero, one. This is important for the add-on. It's actually how the, the add-on is engineered. So uh, only use information to form the questions given the text I will provide. And the text is actually the same I used in the last video. It's about proteins and amino acids. When you get the answer, as you probably remember from the last video, you should not copy from over here. You should copy from up here. Then you need to go to Google Sheets, copy paste and to download this we need to go to file download csv comma separated values for the last step we need to go to anki and uh, press import file we need to choose our csv uh, on the file section you can see that it's comma this is correct because the comma separate values we can see the preview here it looks correct for the note tab, it should be simple MCQ, the deck default or whatever deck you want. And then we actually need to modify field mapping. Question is matched to the question. Option one is correct. Option two, option three. But then the answer key should be the answer key and option four should be nothing. Now, if you have more options, you can modify the prompt and insert more options. But this definitely works for any three option multiple choice question. Then you need to press import and the deck is added. Now we can go check it out. Default deck, open up, study now. Uh, the first one is like this. So as you guys probably remember from the last video, we need to go to browse and actually delete this. So browse, uh, notes, 
and delete. And we go back. What are proteins composed of? Change of amino acids, right? So change of amino acids, press enter, and that's right. It's also green. So then you choose whatever you want to choose. Again, hard, good, easy. Next question. What it has specific activities of proteins? Let's say abundance. Enter. Not quite. The correct answer is their unique shapes. So it definitely works. So this was the video for today. Please leave any questions in the comments below. If you have any uh, issues with setting this up, it should be really straightforward. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.